What makes that a salesman? It looks like some kind of super villain Monsanto scientist that's trying to replicate the success of Captain Sauce. What's up guys and welcome back to Homo Evolution, the game that I honestly thought I was done with. Okay, you can always screw up humanity so many times. Like the first time around, things started off great, but quickly went downhill when men went extinct, leaving us with nothing but disfigured plastic women. And eventually all of humanity just evolved to be one giant army of robo-thoughts. After abandoning Earth and buying a new planet, our second time around went quite a bit better. Right? We kept both men and women. We became gamers! and then took things a little too far, and eventually all of humanity evolved into one giant emoji monster. <laughs> and it's around that time where I feel like most people would probably throw in the towel, but me, no, because you guys just shower the last videos and likes and comments and views, so here I am again, just winding up for strike three so that I can go back to the dugout and cry. You'd be amazed how difficult it is to take out a bank loan to buy a third planet when you've already screwed up two. But we now own Tethys and I've already gotten started. So the animal stage is done. We already have monkeys hatching from eggs, evolving into primitive man. Primitive man has done its thing. We now have a bunch of happy coin boys that are just bursting at the sacks to evolve. I meant the coin sacks, which leaves us with a choice. Spectacle, bread, or care. Technically, there are alternate endings to Spectacle and Care. Maybe we just got the bad endings both times. I have no idea, but I think we're gonna go ahead and get that bread, gamers. <laughs> new creature unlocked, Gardener. A new era has begun. I feel like I've gotten very pessimistic with this game. Like, so far, so good. All of our happy coin boys have evolved into happy apple girls. Things seem almost normal, but then you go and evolve two of them together and you get a uh, chef. Is that glass full of blood or something? What's the catch? Other than the fact that the air is called bread and we don't see any bread anywhere, there's nothing really weird happening, which is kind of freaking me out. And in all reality, it's probably just called bread because the air is all about food, right? So if you guys want food, then how about I prepare you some scrambled monkey eggs? <laughs> that does not sound good, even a little bit. But hopefully, Primitive Man will be able to cook something up and we can move on to the Gourmet Traveler. Again, what's the catch? Like, is that human meat on the barbecue? Whoa, 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 Dad, you can't do that hand symbol anymore. Okay, because the internet ruins everything. You see, we're now at that awkward point in the game where I need to hatch 512 monkeys to make one of these guys. <laughs> I don't have the patience to wait for that, so how about instead I just buy my way to success? Okay, I'm gonna go on creepymuppets.com and order a whole bunch of you guys. <laughs> and then you should make this go quite a bit faster, hopefully. Not really. Every single time I start one of these videos, I go into it thinking that I'm just gonna fly through it. I'm so overprepared. I have so much money. I could buy planets. I could buy all the creepy Muppet men that I want. And then I spend all my money. I have nothing left. <laughs> but I do have a paunchy pig. Okay. It's just a guy with a beer belly eating pizza. These are some weird creatures and not weird in the way that I come to expect, but weird in that they're just people. Maybe that's a good thing? Like, now that I think about it, I really doubt he uses emojis and he looks like the last kind of person to evolve into some kind of gigantic robo-thought. <laughs> so maybe we're finally evolving normal humans. Yeah, yeah, this is a good thing. So good that we're gonna go win a whole bunch of normal humans by playing slots because this is all I have left. Thank you. <laughs> if I could just rack up a whole bunch of wins here, my life would be a whole lot easier. Oh, Mr. Slots. You are really on my side today. I appreciate that. Coins will do. You know what? I, I can use coins. I can use coin boys. I can really use anything. I actually wouldn't mind winning some gems. I, I definitely need chefs. Yes, chefs, please. That works great. Thank you. But if I can get some gems, I can finish some of the upgrades. And hopefully that'll make things go quite a bit smoother. I love that you get complimentary money just for playing. Like, even if you lose, you get like uh, 300 acts whatever an ock is. I have 19 odds right now. Yes, yes, come on, yes, thank you. Oh, this is gonna make my life so much easier. 
Emerald. Emerald. Oh, man. Mr. Slots, he just loves me. You know, like, he's in my corner right now when it comes to fixing humanity. I just doubled my money. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Another coin boy. Okay. So we actually got quite a bit out of that, right? We can open all these boxes, get a couple of you guys, and then you will turn into a happy little apple girl. So we're set up to cascade up through to another evolution, but I guess we should get started with hatching monkeys. I would normally edit out the time where I'm just sitting here hatching monkey eggs, waiting for the great monkey mother in the sky to crap out a bunch more of them, but I really want to take the time in an episode just to say thank you guys for supporting the series. No, honestly, it's been really surprising to me because I've never claimed that this is a good game. Like, it's not. It's just a stupid, random, funny little mobile game that I feel like is really addicting. It's really easy to get into, and I just, I would have never expected that these videos would get more support than something like Vacation Simulator, or Tabs, or stuff that I've been anticipating for years now. So, I don't know, it's just, it's really cool to see that I can play random stuff on the channel and bring my commentary to it, and people will still enjoy it. So, I, I don't want that to go unnoticed. I do very much appreciate all the support on the stupid videos as well as the good videos. I shouldn't say that these videos aren't good. People are gonna click off. They're good. I try my best, okay? I'm really doing my best to grind monkeys into people. It, it's not working, okay? You know, what if I just uh, buy my way to success? Something like that. Would that help out a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> now, we had a spare chef for some reason. Every now and then, a new creature just kind of pops up, and I don't know where they come from, but either way... We now have a fast food glutton. Okay... I'm really hoping that's not the point where things go weird. We were doing so well! Maybe obesity and gigantism isn't that big of a deal. Maybe we can just work it out by hatching more eggs and hoping for the best. <laughs> Are monkey eggs good for you? Are they bad for you? I don't know, it feels like every other week they change their mind about this kind of thing. Mr. Slots, do you think you could help me out? I could really use a couple apple girls. Sure, yeah, I, I need a couple though. One isn't gonna do it, so you're gonna have to give me another. <laughs> I swear he's listening. So I could go ahead and spend half my money on one happy apple girl, or I could watch another dreadful ad for choices. It's gonna be choice. It's always choices. Hey babe, how's your work trip? Good, miss you. And then Jason goes ahead and sends a picture of a poorly cropped out woman. Jason, you man whore. Even deserve better. What the hell? I'm gonna get an explanation. Who the hell is that? Oh, I never even thought to look at the picture that I sent her. Uh oh, I think I messed up. Messed up by cheating on her, or messed up by sending her a photo of you cheating on her? Is she gonna dump that jerk or wait for his explanation? Find out next time on another shitty ad for choices! After watching Jason royally screw up eight times in a row, we now have a whole bunch of happy apple girls which should be able to get us to the next stage, right? Hopefully. No, I need to watch more. <laughs> I can't handle it. I edit all this stuff out, but you guys can see the pent up rage. Maybe now would be a good time to pull my emergency shoot and see how much money that mission collected for me. 333 ad? That's like 10 times more than what I have right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> These missions are so overpowered. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start on another one right now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and buy my way to success. Who's in the box? Oh, okay, make that 10 times more money than I already had, and the next stage for free. Okay, yep, you know what? I think the obese guy was the turn into weirdness. <gasps> oh, come on. What makes that a salesman? It looks like some kind of super villain Monsanto scientist that's trying to replicate the success of Captain Sauce. 
Finally, a little good news. Okay, the human trafficking ring got a whole bunch of chefs in stock. So I went and ordered a bunch of them. We now have one of everything in this era. I think one of everything in this era. And a whole pile of monkey eggs that will hopefully act as the spark to our powder keg. We should be able to cascade up through all of evolution if all goes according to plan, please work out. I don't think I'm missing anything, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have a new era to choose. Science or sports? That's actually a hard one. I don't know which one would doom humanity. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Homo Evolution, guys. And this way I get to end off asking you guys, would you rather science or sports? I don't wanna be fully responsible for when this goes downhill. Plus, it's a big bonus that now I can earn a lot of money in between episodes so that next time things should be a little bit smoother and we won't have to watch half a dozen ads about goddamn choices. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.